Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful grid design in Adobe InDesign. Alright, so first of all, I have an, a document that is open here, a new document I just created. I pick my rectangular tool, I click and drag, and while still holding down my left arrow uh, button, I tap the up key twice to create three rows then i tap the right key as the right arrow key four times to create uh, uh four columns that's three times to create four columns and i'm um, while still holding i try to adjust till i am satisfied all right so next up we're going to combine uh, certain um boxes together so this first one i combine with this and i remove um, the one that we don't need, I combine this with this, or I could just leave it as is. I select, I go to my Pathfinder tool, uh, Pathfinder, and click on the add or combine. Then I combine this six with this single one as I dragged over, then held down my control key to add that other uh, shape. Then I click combine. So uh, we see that we've combined the shapes that we're going to be placing the pictures in. So let me just uh, give the combined uh, shapes different colors so that we see what we have done. So for this first one, I can pick a blue. For this next one, we'll pick a yellow. For this uh, two, we'll pick a red. And for these other ones, we pick a green. So we see that we've combined the, um, the different grids and the different boxes into um, just basically um, four, um, four um, groups of boxes. All right. So next up, I'm going to bring in the uh, different pictures that we're going to use to populate the uh, merged grids. So I go to File, Place click and I hold down my control key to select the other pictures click and this one goes in the yellow box this goes in the green box and this goes in the red box all right so I click and hold my control to select all the um, boxes that I have merged and I click on the fill or the fit uh, image to the frame all right let me make some adjustments uh, holding down my control and shift i increase this image and i position it correctly do same for the next one control shift increase let me just shift her face out a bit increase it a little bit more just to have more of her face all right so i think i'm okay with that so for this last one i click into the image i increase it because i want her face to be partly in that frame all right so as we can see we have the pictures or the images positioned as i want them let me just reduce this one a little bit more and bring her down so that her eyes is not cut off. Okay. All right. So I think I'm satisfied with that. So for this blue box, I'm going to sample a color from the, uh, the picture that I have here. So let me pick a color picker and I click on this, uh, picture this is uh, what I want I want this darker color and I add it to my swatches then I click the color that I want to use if I'm sat not satisfied with that I can pick any of the other colors so I think I'll go with this and I can actually adjust it also by double clicking and maybe adding a little bit more magenta reducing the black adding a bit of yellow just to make it look the way I want it to. All right. So finally, we're going to add our text. So I just uh, click and drag over. 
and I type in my text. The text is um, just smile. A smile. An exclamation mark. Uh, let me increase the font size. And I want to change the font to a font I love so much Gotham. And maybe I'll use the Gotham black or let's stay with the bold. Reduce it a little bit. Okay. Let's move it to a line. All right. Control Shift C to centralize. I think I'm satisfied. Target the text and choose white. I press W to put my design in a preview mode. And that concludes my design for today. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more videos every week. Do take care and have a nice day.